Okay, welcome back. This is part 35, I believe it is, of my community site tutorial series. This is going to be uh, a bit of an update video for the community site series. Uh, we're going to make some small modifications, and then I'm going to tell you about an idea I have uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so, first off, uh, I want to point out that uh, I am currently on basicnick.com. Um, and my one of my previous videos, I showed how to um, always have the www dot in all of your uh, whenever your website is accessed, and also how to hide PHP extensions, um, and also how to have uh, custom error pages. Um, in this case, a 404 error page. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and implement these three HT access um, things or items into uh, basicnick.com and the community site. Um, and then we're going to work on some other stuff. So I've gone ahead and I've already uploaded, FTP uploaded um, the HT access file. Now, if you're wondering where you upload it to, you upload it, click on this, you want to upload this to the very, very root of your website. So you want to upload it to there. Um, after it's uploaded, if for example I click on the source code link, um, I have also updated the source code page so it shows all of the source codes and all their links. If I go ahead and remove the PHP extension, uh, you can see it still works and everything. If I remove the www dot, it'll automatically put it back in. So all of that is working. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a our, uh, our 404 error page. So um, I will just go with the, uh, the source code page. I'm going to copy it and paste it. And I'm going to rename it to 404 and it's 404.php. If we open it, um, but if we go back to our HD access file, you can see that um, right here we have error document 404, so that's the type of the error, and then this is the name and location of the file. So I'm not putting on the PHP extension because we're going to hide extensions on the site, including for our 404 error page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this, and so we have that and then I'm going to change our title to uh, 404 error uh, yeah that's good for now um, now inside of our left div uh, we're going to put some some text uh, but first we're going to put h2 tags so we're going to give some nice big text and oops and we're going to say 404 error has occurred and we need to so it's going to say a 404 error has occurred then we're going to say give it some text um what to put what to put okay so this is what i've decided to place in the 404 error page um all of this right here so it's saying uh, giving a few reasons why the error may have occurred. Um, it's also tr telling you to make sure you have a valid URL. Um, but if you keep seeing the error, to contact us um, at our contact page. And I spelled contact wrong right there. There we go. Um, so yeah. Then, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the scripts folder. Oh, not the scripts folder, the styles folder, and open the top file. Now at the very top where we have this PHP code, I'm going to show you this little technique that I've uh, been using recently for uh, dynamic websites that I've been making. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a variable at the very top of this page. Since this top.php page is included in every single other page we have uh, to save some coding time, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable that will be our URL address. So it's going to be our website address. 
So it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot basicnick dot com. Uh, and then that's it. Don't put the extra slash after it um, because that may give errors later um, because of how we're going to be using this. Now to show you that this is working. Okay, sorry, I got a little interrupted. Um, so what I was about to say is we're going to take every single time that our this link um, is shown, we're going to change it to a p uh, small block, small PHP code block, and we just going to simply echo our site variable, and then after that, we just put um, outside of our PHP block we put a forward slash and then whatever the page name would be. Um, for example, index or whatever it could be. Um, so it'll make it a lot more uh, dynamic by doing something very simple. Um, so it'll make our life easier later on. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and change it inside of the PHP code block. So you can see right, or the uh, 404 error page, sorry. So you can see right here, we have our code block, and then we have our slash, and then our contact, um, the rest of our contact URL. So it makes it very, very nice. So um, I'm going to also open up the bottom page, and I'm going to take away the PHP extension for both of these. I'm going to put that code in, and remove the PHP extension for that one. So that'll make it so we won't have the PHP extension, and it'll be dynamic. So it makes it easier for uh, users like yourself, um, if you download the source code, to change it to work uh, for your own site. So I'm going to go ahead and close these pages. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the index page. Where is it? There it is. I didn't see it. Um, and where we have our profile, I'm going to go ahead and just put in dollar sign site forward slash, and then we're going to have profile. And then you still need to have the question mark there, and then our ID um, the rest for the rest of that. So that will make it make our homepage uh, <coughs> our homepage profile links um, dynamic as well. And that should be about it um, for all of this. Contact, activate. I guess if you wanted, you could also do this for the activate page um, and the register page, which I may or may not do that. Um, but if I do, it won't be in a video. I will simply tell you that I've done it. So that pretty much is the end of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all of these files. Alright, so I've uploaded all the files, um, and now I'm just going to click on a random username. So you can see it takes us to our address, and then we don't have our PHP extension. If we look at the bottom of the screen, it doesn't have a PHP extension. No PHP extensions for everything. And also something I forgot to mention earlier is I finally have gotten a default profile image, which will be um, that is in the avatars folder as devavatar.png um, as we've set it in our database and um, everywhere else that it was needed. So that's pretty much the update. Now this next part is for anyone who wants to see anything made for this or has any ideas, send me a message or comment on this video for anything you would like me to make uh, in uh, with the um, community site and um, I will eventually get to it. So, post those comments, and thanks for watching.